everyone, this is The Brown Feminist, and today I'm excited to be sharing my living room tour with you. So I do live in a small one-bedroom apartment, but the living room was very large. So I decided to do different sections, treating a part of it as the living room, part of it as a dining room, and also have a little study corner. So let's start off by showing you the living room part of things. That big structure there is my cat's castle. He loves sitting on it and looking outside into the nature, being angry at birds and squirrels all the time. One of the reasons I decided not to put up any curtains is so that I could really enjoy the sun and the beautiful greenery that's right outside. Over here is my TV with the stand that was from Ikea. I really love this piece of furniture even though it costs only $60 or $80. It allows me to have a lot of storage space as well as display some of the things that I have. I also use it as a TV stand and I really love that sign from the dollar store that says, I'm not broke, I'm free rich. One of the aspects of minimalism that I'm really trying to embrace is the dual functionality of things. Over here, you can see that I've displayed my journal, my notebooks and just Find, found it as a decorative item as well as a functional one. Now, just a warning, don't keep an open flame so close to a TV. I did move it soon after. But I also like to have the space smelling really nice. So I have various forms of wax melts and scented candles around the room. Most of my furniture is either from Ikea or Walmart. Some of it is also hand-me-downs or free things that I've later refurbished. Let's go to my dining area. The table was about $40 from Ikea. These candlesticks were a gift from someone. The plates and dishes that you see over here in the nice pastel pink are also from Ikea. The chairs were actually old wooden chairs that I got from a garage sale for about $5. And then I painted them white trying to give them a bit of a rustic barnyard feel. I also added some new cushions to the chairs that were from Walmart and they really helped make them more comfortable. Now let's move on to the study corner of my living room spot. So I have my bookshelf which is from Walmart and this beautiful big table, very simple. It's from Ikea as well and it allows me a lot of room. I have this other smaller version of the TV stand structure from Ikea and I love having all of my files and folders over there. It also acts as my printing and scanning station. So I have all of the kinds of different papers and ink, extra stuff, all within this thing. It's always harder to make a bookshelf more decorative because it does have to be very functional but I have tried to keep everything a bit organized while making sure that anything I need is within arm's reach. Each shelf has its own kind of theme and purpose as you can see. One of the ways that I've tried to make it more visually pleasing is by like using for example my colored tapes and having stationery that kind of matches the feel and look of my apartment. This lamp was from Ikea as well. Um, I do have some extra photo frames I haven't hung up yet, um, but Watson, my cat, will make sure that I'm on top of things. End of the day, there's nothing better than just grabbing a blanket and a good book and curling up on my beautiful rocking chair. Day or night, I really have a lot of fun in this living room, whether it's spending time by myself, studying, working, or with my friends, just hanging out. I hope you've all enjoyed this video, and I hope I've 
and able to give you some interesting and budget furniture ideas to use in your own apartment. Please, if you like this video, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you.